welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, I'm not in my kitchen. I am in my mom's kitchen. We are in Pennsylvania. Um, Corey had some work to do up here and we're just kind of seeing some family, staying with family while we're up here. And if you are new around here, about every two weeks, I do kind of a meal prep style video and then a lot of times I like to make about a month's worth of something and then put it in the freezer and just to save me time and energy and I do a lot of healthy recipes and things like that so since we're here with my mom and um, she kind of would like if I help her out with some meal prepping we're gonna do some things today that she can put in her refrigerator and freezer I don't know if we're gonna do quite a month's worth of something but that's what I label these as because you could make a month's worth of that item and then use it throughout the month. Hi everybody. I'm so glad that Addie's here to help me out with this and I hope it lasts us a month what I'm doing. <laughs> we have a list of stuff that we're gonna be making. Um, just kind of thought things through yesterday and I recently made a granola recipe that mainly takes egg whites as the binder. So we're going to try that out today because I think she wants to try out that. I do. And then um, what else do I you want to? Oh, we're going to do a hearty vegetable soup. The girls are here and um, we want to kind of get them involved. So we're going to do some Play-Doh, some homemade Play-Doh. We'll see what else we whip up. We got a whole <laughs> yeah. day ahead of us. And so um, when our heads get together, we, we never know what we might turn out till yeah. the end of the day. <laughs> okay, so mom got something started here and you want to tell them kind of what we've got started with and we also stopped at Big Lots yesterday if you guys are familiar with them they have been open through the social distancing and all of that stuff and so we decided to stop in there because they've got like a lot of home decor and things like that and so she actually grabbed a cake mix to give you guys a really easy idea of something you can do with a cake mix that um, pretty much anybody could do. oh yes it's just a cake mix and you um, do a crumble on top and we did some of I the mean, look how blueberries these are actually the, the dried blueberries. Freeze dried. Could they do, they could do frozen blueberries though, right? Oh yes. Those Mix it in right into, right batter. into it. And you can use other kinds of fruits too. But this here, I just chose to do it this way. Yeah. And we will, what, link that crumble? Yeah, so she just, all she did is went on Pinterest and just what, searched crumble recipe. Is that what it was? Crumble for a pie. Crumble for a pie. Mm -hmm. And if I can find the one that she used, I'll link it. But she only used half of it. So yeah. you would want half the recipe for a cake mix. Mix, and it's just a regular white cake mix, right? There yes. was no, yes. nothing special to it. And then it makes it more like a coffee cake yes. style. All right, so we are making a mega batch of soup. And this type of soup was something I grew up eating all the time. And you wanna go ahead and just tell them what you started off with. And we're gonna put this into containers and then they can pull this out and just make really quick meals out of this. Okay, so we're gonna end up with like two gallons worth of vegetable soup till it's done and said, or veggies. And I always like to just use the regular, um, as you can see, just the mixed vegetables that are frozen, a bag of them, okay? I have actually done like a couple cloves of garlic here, right here in the center, and then down here in the bottom, I have my, my hamburger already fried up. That's two pounds of hamburger. Okay, I was gonna say how many pounds? And I also had put in a, a half of a bone broth, actually no, a full of the beef bone broth. So this is gonna cook in here. This one's gonna cook over. Now you fried that up in your skillet, right? Yes. So you fried the, mm -hmm. the meat up, which mm -hmm. is about two pounds, and then a bag of mixed vegetables like mm -hmm. this and some garlic mm -hmm. into that. Okay, mm -hmm. and did you add any water to that at all? None, no water, uh, just the broth. Now this here, because I don't, I like to have fresh veggies put into it. Mm -hmm. The carrots, I've got like a great big carrot that was cut up into here. Okay. One red pepper. Okay. A half a head of cabbage, one very large onion, and then like two and a half cups of celery that is cut up. I have the, that much water. I would say that you probably have about five to six cups of water in it. If you kind of get the general idea here, you can tweak this around. I know sometimes I even add more broth or less broth than the recipe says, just to make it thicker if I want it thicker or to make it more soupy if I want it thinner. This will have rice in it. It will also have other seasonings, some tomato, uh, crushed tomatoes in it. Mm -hmm. So you'll be seeing that 
uh, towards the end of, of the Yeah, so the exact measurements is not extremely crucial for this. And this is really great right now because if people stocked up on canned mm -hmm. vegetables and stuff, this is a great way to use them up. It is. The next thing we're going to do while the vegetables and things are cooking back here is get started on the granola because it needs to be in the oven and kind of toast for a while. And we've got other things that we eventually want to get in the oven. So while the stuff is cooking on top, we can get this rolling in the oven. This is a recipe I found on Pinterest not that long ago. I had shared it with you guys. I will link it again because obviously I want the person that came up with it to get the credit for the recipe. Um, but basically it's super, super inexpensive to make and like you can pretty much have the stuff on hand. So the binder or what makes it the wet part of it is actually egg whites instead of oil, which I think is pretty genius. So we'll just show you how we're going about doing this and then you can check out the full recipe in the link below. Um, my mom has never made granola like this, so she's super anxious to try it out. So we are gonna double the batch so she has some to go into the freezer right away. Um, and you can freeze granola. And then uh, she said that we'll, she'll see if she wants to make it again. You know, just kind of doing a test run since she hasn't tried it. This makes a really, really crunchy granola. you close maybe hold your hand a little while somehow i know you're gonna be the girl that i'll end up calling my own we ride around in style sleeves rolled up glasses on and then you make that smile and my heart starts racing when i'm with you Okay, so now I'm going to add some of my um, seasonings to this, and I always like to put chili powder into it. So I'm going to put in like a tablespoon of that, a tablespoon of salt, and then onion powder. I like to put in a teaspoon of that, parsley, flakes, just a whole bunch of that, and let it cook a little bit more. So she's to the point where everything's pretty cooked up, and she's going to add in some more ingredients. I had cooked up two cups of wild rice mm. and just putting that in with it. I drained off black beans. I always like to add baked beans if I have any and even a bigger can of them. Just adds the flavor. And then the crushed tomatoes. Do a whole can of that. Box of broth. I like to make different kinds of broth, mix the different kinds of broth because it just brings, it just makes a, uh, your flavor more in depth. Was the other broth beef? Yes. Okay. Now by putting in these carrots, it just makes it look that much more homemade. So I'm going to go ahead now and make my cookie dough bites. Um, this is something that I make a lot at home. If you watch my channel often, you've seen me make these before. They're super, super easy, and I personally like to keep them in the freezer and then just kind of grab them after dinner when I want a quick snack. And there's something that is a little more healthy than eating dessert. And my mom, have you had them before? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's had them before. I've made them before. Um, so she also likes them. And I don't know who wouldn't. They kind of are like, yeah, cookie dough, edible cookie dough. So I'm going to show you what all I put into them. And you just mix them up. You scoop them out with a cookie scoop onto a sheet. Put them in the freezer. Kind of let them uh, flash freeze. And then put them all into a container. And then you can just pull them out as you want to eat them. My mom was having tea with the girls over here. So we've got tea over here. <laughs> okay, so it's really, really simple. You just need a block of cream cheese. At home, I a lot of times use almond milk cream cheese um, just because I try to go a little more dairy free. Then you also need a stick of butter. You could use grass fed butter to make it a little more healthy or you can just use regular butter. You need half a cup of peanut butter. We've got the 100% 
um, peanuts. I like this peanut butter a lot too. And then you want to do half a cup of chocolate chips. And these are a stevia sweetened chocolate chips. There's also a brand I think called Bake Believe at Walmart. That's a really great stevia sweetened chocolate chip as well. You also need a fourth teaspoon of salt. Um, a teaspoon or more of vanilla. I love a lot of vanilla in my stuff. So I just usually splash a bunch in. And then about a third cup of Swerve sweetener. You could use like Truvia. You can use any sweetener. You could even use sugar. Um, but that's, I just prefer to do this because then obviously I'm not getting as much sugar into my diet. family's favorites. So anyway, I'm going to get started on that before she wakes up. Falling in love. You set my wheels in motion. I'm going crazy for you. I feel like the ocean. I can see you. Okay, so I've mashed up three bananas and I am putting one teaspoon of soda on this and just kind of uh, mashing it together. It helps the, the um, soda to dissolve. I had a nice little nap <laughs> and mom kept going but I really needed it whenever you're traveling and away from home I feel like you just get so much more tired when you're not sleeping in your own bed um, so anyways we are getting ready to make up a bunch of play-doh and what we're gonna do is we are actually gonna use essential oils to make the play-doh smell really good and give each color its own individual smell so we're gonna do red and this one is going to smell kind of like cinnamon this is a protective blend that is very cinnamon smelling and then pink is going to be grapefruit purple is going to be lavender um, blue is going to be spearmint green is going to be lime orange will be um, a version of orange this is a orange blend it's called citrus bliss and then we're going to do yellow as lemon so we're going to mix this up we'll kind of show you step by step it's pretty simple and uh, we're gonna end up with a lot of play-doh but tomorrow we're getting together for mother's day as a family so that will give the little ones some things to do okay we're getting ready to mix everything up and this is really simple to do and we're actually going to be doing a triple batch but I'm going to give you the measurements for a single batch so that you can just mix it up however much you want according to how many colors you're doing and how many kids you have
Well guys, thanks so much for joining us today and just kind of hanging out with us. We did a bunch of random stuff, but like my mom just said a little bit ago, she's so thankful that soup is in the freezer and she's got some little treats here and there and things that we'll be using tomorrow. And um, yeah, this is kind of a normal kind of day whenever I'm hanging out with my mom. Usually we come up with something to do. So hopefully this gave you some great ideas for things that you could put in your freezer or just kind of make an abundance of so you have extra around that lasts you a little while. If you're new here, I'd love it if you subscribe to my channel. I do just mom life and lots of cleaning motivation and organizing. I am planning to do probably at least one more video with my mom. We have some fun home decor stuff kind of up our sleeve that we really would like to do here at her house. So keep an eye out for that. See if we get that accomplished while I'm here. And don't forget to leave a comment below. Give this video a like. And I will see you guys in my next video.